right hello everyone and welcome to this week's live so as you guys can see i am live on sunday so i didn't actually know if this would be happening or not because i essentially have been experiencing a migraine now for like a couple of days so it started on Friday and might have even been Thursday night actually but yeah so I didn't know whether I was going to be able to do my weekly stuff or not because I need all of the time possible to rest so Friday was by far one of the worst although yesterday morning too for pain was really bad so um, I actually didn't need to take any medication this morning, but I have been the last couple of days. And yeah, so it hasn't been fun at all, essentially. Sorry if I'm glancing just over in that direction. I have my laptop running this particular stream, which actually I should probably go and make sure just so that in case comments come up that I can see them. So I've just got it minimized and it's on there. So yeah um so this i can honestly say has been probably the worst migraine i've had in at least a couple of years i usually don't have to come home i usually don't have to like essentially cut off everything and go to bed and have a nap but that's what happened this time and a lot of you may be like, well, what happened that caused this to happen? I thought your medication was working. It is. It's working really well. I didn't honestly have much pain, but uh, the my vision was really wonky. So I was trying to describe this on Friday to the people who I work with because I had mentioned that I wasn't feeling well and wasn't sure why I was going to make it through the day. I knew immediately after trying to do something that usually doesn't take much effort at all that I was struggling to read and was like, I'm not going to last a day. So I had to talk to them and I was trying to describe what I was seeing in my vision because it was almost impossible to describe what I was seeing and what I was feeling. It's because it's very there. It's like describing something to someone who has never seen that so it's like trying to describe what the color purple is to somebody who's never seen it and so when it comes to what I was actually feeling with this I want to try and describe what this was like but it was like I was there in the room but I was off in a different dimension despite the fact that I was in the room so it was very out of it was almost out of body but it was not in a way too I don't really I like I said I can't really explain it but like I was there but then when I went to concentrate on something I wasn't able to concentrate on that thing it was very 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 strange I, I can't it's I don't even know if I'd be able to demonstrate it actually in a video like that's how hard it was to put into words so that's what I was feeling on Friday. So I wasn't really having a lot of actual migraine pain on Friday. It was the, on Friday, it was the visual stuff. So looking back on it now, I'm pretty sure it was like the prodrome phase. And so yesterday morning, I actually started having quite a bit of head pain. So yeah, um, that's not great sorry if you can hear noise upstairs um can't really help that um what else is going on so yesterday there was quite a bit of head pain in the morning i actually did something that i normally don't do which is i was taking I was having naps in the afternoon and it's just because I was absolutely exhausted. So when I get to be dealing with my migraines and been dealing with a lot of pain, 
I often have to sleep because I'm just absolutely exhausted. Now, I'm very thankful that this didn't last for very long. I did my aim of egg shot yesterday, so hopefully within a few days, any issues or all of that will be gone again for a little bit. But, you know, it's just a lot of this was just timing. So I am currently on my period. I am currently dealing with some things with my meditation practice that is all I can describe is it's very uncomfortable right now. I'm dealing with some of the deeper and harsher stuff that can come up with that. I'm going through, so that's causing some negative emotions and a little bit of sleep issues, I would say too, but this is all part of the process. It's stuff I cannot run from. And so I, I have to manage it and deal with it and face it head on. Like there's no running away from it. And with the headache, there is the, so I had my period. There's also weather changes that are happening. So we just went from like really, really cold now to kind of like right around freezing. So that's always hard to, it's hard either direction when that plummets and goes up. And that's why I said spring is really, really difficult for me because it's, Spring is really difficult for that reason because it's constantly up and down. So, like, we're not in spring yet. It's just weather pattern changed and barometric pressure changes. And all of this happening all at the same time leads to the bucket overflowing. And this time the bucket, I think, could have probably filled up two buckets. And so it was just a very, very unfortunate timing, essentially. And then... I also was very, very close to needing another dose of my preventative medication. So like, I think what needs to happen is that I work myself back into trying to make sure that when I have my period, I'm about four or five days from having actually had my needle because that's, I find when it's the strongest and most likely get through that. I, I think that's another reason maybe why the retreat went so well. I had to take that particular dose a few days earlier than what I would have like actually timed it to be and I took it actually as early as I could with the instructions that month so by the time I actually had my period I was three or four days into my actual um into the actual uh what's it called into my actual dose. So when I get to about four or five days, that's when it's maximum usually. And so because of that, I just had a really, really good experience because I didn't really, like my medication was working. So yeah, um, I think we're doing okay with uh, the stream and all of that. So that's great. Um, It's The only thing I don't like about this continuity camera is you have to have the camera so that it's facing like um, so it's essentially behind you, I guess, is the right way to word that. I'd have to switch my camera angles in order to actually demonstrate that, so I'm not going to do that, but you actually have to have the, you have to use a rear-facing camera, and if you don't have, like, a viewfinder or something, like what OBS has, it's really difficult to actually see, but it's nice because I can just kind of focus on the camera and, like, look at right directly into the camera, which I really, really like because it is a little bit more intimate that way. And also, like I said, I like using OBS so that I get the highest quality I possibly can out of the video, so that's really nice too. I can use the selfie cam when I'm just using Facebook mobile, but the video quality after you upload it is not great, so that's why I don't like using that. Um, But, and also I use my gimbal so that I can move around and it doesn't really affect like how shaky it is. It just kind of smoothly does its thing. So that's also really nice. Um, So yeah, I don't, that's kind of what I wanted to say, I guess, when it comes to all of this. I would normally also do my podcast today. I haven't decided whether I'm going to even try and do my podcast today. I am very nervous with particularly having a migraine this bad that I'm going to wear myself out and cause another cycle of the migraine. 
particularly until a couple more days until I'm a little bit closer to the five days again past the dose that I had yesterday. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to get a chance to record the podcast today, but I'm, the thing is, is I kind of do this by how I'm feeling. And if I feel like it's right in the moment, then I go and film it. So hopefully I can get it done either later this afternoon or tonight, but I am not going to hold myself to that. Um, if there for some reason happens to be not a podcast this week, that's essentially why is I'm just trying to make sure that I don't overdo it this week. So yeah, um, it's been a little bit of a rough couple of days, that's for sure. And I'm, I'm definitely still feeling the fatigue as well. So that's also not a lot of fun, but when it's only fatigue and I haven't had to take any medication today with regards to pain or all of that, it's a good day because I remember I used, it, this was a good reminder too, like this is how I used to feel all of the time and it's just amazing at how far I've come and I'm really, really thankful that I'm feeling as well as I am most of the time. Like I said, it's unfortunate when you have a bunch of migraine triggers come together that is beyond your control and that's essentially exactly what happened so like the fact that I've been working now for a year and a half has it been about a year and a half yeah it'd be about a year and a half I guess and this is the first time that I've had to leave because of it I feel like I'm got a pretty good record so hopefully that doesn't happen again for a while I'm not going to say it's never going to happen again because that would be being unrealistic. It, it definitely will. It's just that hopefully I can work things out so that it's less likely to happen. Now that I've got a good control on my migraines too, it's and I know what is likely to trigger it, I was actually a little worried, honestly, last weekend, looking ahead to this last week, going, oh boy, especially after seeing the forecast change like it did, I was like, oh no, that's just a recipe for disaster because I knew my period was coming up. I knew that I was getting close to another dose of my needle. Like there's just things, a few things that I know. And then adding in the weather changes, I'm just like, this could be rough. And it was. So, I mean, it's not like it came out of nowhere. I knew exactly what was going on, but it's still the fact that it still happened that was really, really frustrating in a way. But then again, like, um, I really do take these as a sign now that I need to slow down and, you know, give my body the rest that it needs. And I'm feeling quite good today besides the fact that I'm still a little bit in the feeling a bit of that migraine hangover that you can feel and it'll feel like that until I get a chance to rest again so yeah um I don't know guys I think that might be everything that I want to talk about with this particular one and you know just I have so much gratitude like I said that I have done as well as I have up until this point because I was having I was feeling like this the the, this is how I was feeling in the last couple of days is how I felt for like months at a time before and I just can't believe I like did as much as I did during those periods of time because now it knocks me down so hard I can't do anything and you know I like I said I can't remember having a migraine this bad since things were really really bad before the only thing that I do wish is for times like this is that if I am obligated or have something going on that I did have some type of rescue med so I may be talking to my doctor about that when that conversation comes up at my next appointment it isn't for a while and the reason why I say that is because this doesn't happen very often if this was happening a lot I would have to look into something else because maybe the aim of it could stop working I know that it's not stopped working though because you know I can I just know I have that sense that it was just a bunch of ingredients coming together in essentially terrible timing is what it was so that's going to happen unfortunately that 
there's just things that you cannot control when it comes to triggers and unfortunately everything that is out of my control is came together all at the wrong time (laughs) and so yeah I don't know if I look really rough but um I don't know how obvious it is to people or how obvious I make it out to people when I'm really not feeling that great like I was really 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 also quite emotional on Friday because this might have been the it's probably been the first time where you know this has happened and I cannot hide back my emotions anymore because of the work I'm doing with my meditation practice and so that crying also probably made things worse as well but you know feeling into that was a really therapeutic thing for me to do like it was really really important for me to do that so yeah um I'm not really sure what else I really want to talk about this is like these lives are meant to be kind of what's going on in the moment how am I doing how am I feeling what's going on and so that's what's been going on the past few days is that and like I said I'm just beyond grateful that I'm doing as well as I am and that I haven't had to have many episodes like this where I'm like oh yeah I'm fresh off of a migraine and all of that my vision has returned back to normal it seems like I'm able to concentrate and read without feeling like I'm in a different dimension I don't really like I said that visual thing that I had this time I actually had a few symptoms that was a little weird this time that I don't think I've ever had before I don't know if it was related or not but it certainly seems like it was because I only had it while I had the migraine actually happening so on Friday I actually had a fairly runny nose and actually I was also very chilled I was a little kind of concerned about halfway through the day whether I might be actually getting sick on top of it because you know feeling chilled just overall generally not feeling well along with the runny nose and you're like oh snap am I not am I getting sick on top of having all of this pain right and no wasn't it wasn't that it was just it seemed to go away when the migraine actually came in and I looked it up and apparently you can have a runny nose with drippage like that with a migraine so that was had never happened before this aura that I had and it was a type of aura with the migraine is different from a lot of what I remember having when I had the really bad migraines it's been a while number one since I've had a really, really bad actual migraine, like to this degree, but I also concentrate a lot differently than what I used to. So I'm just wondering if maybe everything came together and it was just the way I was feeling in that particular moment and what I was seeing. But like I said, it was very strange. Like even I was commenting on this, like, this is so weird. Like I knew something was going on because it was not the way I'm used to normally seeing things and like my brain wasn't working properly either which it doesn't when I'm going through that too so it was a little bit frustrating but I don't regret my decision of coming home on Friday afternoon at all it was the right decision and although I was emotional about it just because of the circumstances uh, I even though I knew it was the right decision. I still feel like I'm letting people down, despite the fact that the best thing for me to do is rest so that things don't get worse or prolonged, actually. Um, It's still really frustrating to have that happen. And, you know, you hope that it never happens when you've got other things going on, but inevitably things will meet up where the right ingredients just come together at the wrong time. And like I said, I believe that's what happened, but if things start to get worse, I may have to look into other alternatives. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Things are things are really things are getting back to normal though now. So I'm like I said, I'm really really happy about that. And you know, gonna have bad days, unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah, but 
uh, like I said, I think that's pr it for this one. I'm just going to find my other app or other screen here. So we're going to end it here for now. If you guys have any questions that you want to ask me, either about this particular migraine or if you want me to do a separate video on kind of what I've been feeling over the last couple of days, if you've got any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you're wanting to learn more about my journey i've got a lot of videos on here now that explain different things and different periods of time if you're wanting to you can follow me on instagram at awareness with ashley and you can get the short video content on there same thing applies for tiktok at awareness with ashley i don't even remember my handles at this point <laughs> i'm so i am very very tired still so my brain isn't working exactly the way it should be <laughs> so there's that and then um on facebook well if you're watching this live you have found me on facebook if you're watching this live and you'd like to watch on youtube you can do so the same as what my facebook is but if you're watching this on youtube after it's been reposted my channel is ashley stewart and on Twitter, you can find me at Ashley Stewart 94 You're going to find a bunch of different things on Twitter. I tweet out news. I tweet out different introvert memes. I tweet out other memes. And I just kind of... My Twitter is a little bit more personal stuff. I'm honestly not on Twitter a lot anymore, though. I just don't like the atmosphere on Twitter. There's a lot of attacking and a lot of politics, and I'm just not interested in it anymore. So... Like, I essentially have Twitter so I can follow breaking news stories, and I have a couple of accounts that I like to follow on there, but other than that, it's it's just not a good app <laughs> sometimes. So, I think, though, it's a, like every social media platform, it's about the content and about your intention of using the platform as to whether it's good or bad. Like, some people would say the same about TikTok. So, also, speaking of TikTok, you can find me on my personal TikTok page, where I do some fun things occasionally at Ashley Enjoys Music. You guys can always find this also too. I'm starting to put my link bio page in a lot of the descriptions. So then everything is on there all of the time and all of the links are on there, including how to get a hold of me via email. So if you're wanting to do that, you can also do that. Email is also available though in the belt section on YouTube. So. I think that covers everything and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I hope you guys are doing okay, feeling okay. I know that the weather's a little bit rough everywhere right now. So yeah, I just, I feel you guys and been struggling myself lately. So yeah, I'm just happy to be feeling a little bit back to normal because that was a rough couple of days for me. So Again, thanks for joining me for the Sunday Live, and I hope to see you guys again next week. Bye, everyone.